Canon T50. I believe I have one of these at home. <laughs> I'm looking for something without a uh, with more options. This one you could set the ASA on, but 15. Oh, look at this one. Wow, look how small this is. Pentax MV. I'm not that familiar with this one, but it's got all the settings. Of course, it takes the K mount. A Polaroid fast charger. <laughs> Electronic flash. T20 for an Olympus system. Let's see? This probably be neat to have, but I don't have the Olympus system to with, go with it. Oh, five dollars in old camera. Oh, here's a flash gun for an early Polaroid. Here is a hand-picked. This must be. This looks like it. I don't know what this is. Let's open it up. This is a. Kodak Instamatic. I've never seen one with a hard case like this before. It's got the 3.8 f2.8 lens. It's got ASA settings. Oh, here's the model number here. Instamatic camera 800. Uh, some of these you can actually run 35 millimeter film in with an adapter. You just have to fire a bunch of times to get to the next frame. <laughs> What is this? Oh, this looks like a radio. Not. A, oh my goodness! Look at that. We've got a little filter, a flash. We've got some filters, coated filters. Forty-nine. Let's say skylight. Oh, look at this. Here's a teleconverter for CF Auto. Hmm, wonder if that goes with that Pentax, I'm not sure. It's a 3X converter, that's very old school. Neat. But look at this oh, piece of garbage here. <laughs> What's this? This actually is something good. Yeah. This is a pan head. I might get that for four dollars. No, uh, this is something that went on a camera side rail. Let's see what this is. Right, that looks like an inexpensive lens. There were some lenses that you put on the front of lenses, and they were never good. Look at this. Very dynamic. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at this. I actually wanted one of these. This is a uh, oh, stabilizer. I wonder if it works. Hmm. I wonder what the price is. $20. There's a 20% off though. Oh, what's this? Could this be a light meter? Huh. I wonder what this is. It looks like some viewfinder. It has some kind of button that changes it. Maybe that focuses it. Oh. It's a little telescope. And what in the world would you use this for? Oh, maybe it has, no, there's nothing that tells you what distance it is. I'll have to look up that name and see what it is.
100, 174. Just got a spring winder. The Instamatic R4. It's a battery of some sort. Maybe the one. No, it's got a winder here. Well, some get rid of some camera equipment this time around. Tripping to Goodwill. Oops. You know this. Tripping to Goodwill. Uh, so they had a lot of camera stuff. Uh, the thing I saw at the end, they had a gimbal, which I would really like, would be fun to have, especially if it was only $20, but I couldn't get it to function right. And I noticed had it had a, it looked like it could have been a C port on it, I don't know for sure, but I don't know what else is needed with it, and the jaws didn't open up to fit my cell phone anyway. Uh, so what I did get, though, was for $4, this uh, tripod had it. And so this would fit, you know, on your tripod, you take this off, put this on, and it just gives you a lot of uh, precision here as far as, you know, if we get it perfectly straight, we can we can unlock it, and there's some uh, markings here and degrees. We were doing very precise panoramic type things or shots, uh, you know, and th this certainly allows you if we use the ball portion of it it allows you to go well it it would be 90 degrees this way i think but you know all the other things in between and like most of these things this has a uh, pressure plate uh quick release plate and this is the at one time the great thing and the bad thing it's bad if you're in the used market because generally this piece will be missing from any equipment like this. You know, there'll be these nice tripods missing the plate. There'll be things like this missing the plate. And why are they missing the plate? Well, it was quick release, so it's it's still fastened to the camera that was last used with the tripod. And so, you know, people sell the stuff and don't know about it. And, you know, it's funny. People will say, you know, I've seen some tripods on, you know, Marketplace or something that look really interesting. So you know, I've kind of asked him, oh, gee, do you have the pressure plate, the, you know, the quick release plate? And he's like, no, I, it, it don't, oh, yeah, it does need one. You know, they'll admit, and then, then they'll say, but you can get them online. Well, I wouldn't. <laughs> you know, if you can find them, they're going to be 15 to $25 by the time you pay for the item and the shipping. And the chances that they have that exact one are pretty slim. And that's why the person is selling the tripod without it. I wouldn't pay more than, you know, I wouldn't pay five bucks for something without this piece to it. Unless I knew it was a tripod brand that I could get something for. Now this, you know, I tend to buy equipment and replace my less expensive things. This is a Premier brand of, of uh, tripods. Manfrotto, is that how you say it? But uh, these are really rugged. And, uh, oops, I forgot to lock one of these legs in place. They're really sturdy, really high quality. And uh, I managed to get a monopod made by the same thing. So the, the, these have replaced the kind of the less valuable or workable, sturdier, whatever tripod that I had before. Now, of course, different tripods might have different reasons for having them. Like I've got a lighter one that it's, you know, there's a lot of plastic in it. It has a handle, but it's nice to carry around if you're, you know, you were going on a hike somewhere and you knew you were going to need a tripod. But uh, I couldn't pass it, pass it up. Joby.com is where it's from. I'll probably look this up and see. But of course, photo equipment is only worth what people will pay for it. And it's funny with people that are advertising some of this equipment. If they keep it on Marketplace, eventually you see the price drop and drop and drop. And then they just take it off. And I don't think... There's no... 
I'm unaware of a way for you to search on Mark, you know, Facebook Marketplace and actually find whether something's been sold or not because, you know, it's gone. So you can't, you know, but I think a lot of the people with the camera stuff just get frustrated and take it off or, you know, someone writes in and offers them less. I know one time I was looking at an enlarger, a rolly enlarger, color enlarger. It's really a high-end, what's a, what's matter, you know, big deal type thing. And I got it. And, uh, uh, the, you know, they had wanted a huge amount of money for it. And then they basically called me up and said, you want it? We'll give it to you free. And I said, yeah. So I got it, got it home. And there was a, the light was out in it, the bulb. And it was like, I've got a bunch of archers. I don't even know why I took this one free. So I basically passed it on to someone else free. And hopefully they'll uh, look into it, get the right uh, bulb port and put it into use. But like I say, uh, darkroom equipment and some photography equipment is just gone way, way down. And you wouldn't think so, but uh, you know, professional photography, a lot of it just disappeared once people had digital cameras. And even you could see, it was so funny. We had, I worked in a photo finishing uh, for Konica and uh, at first it was Bicno, but there was this trade journal that would come around, okay? And as soon as digital cameras came out, the quality and the photos all went to pot. So here you set, have a thing, a uh, triumphing, regular, you know, chemistry-based analog photography, and then putting these crap, you know, digital images in because they're quick and cheap. Well, you know, that's what happened with a lot of people. And now, you know, if someone knows what they're doing, with even a cell phone, it's kind of amazing if they know what they're doing, the results they can get with it. So there's just no, you know, it's like, oh, I need a picture of this. You wouldn't think, oh, I'll, I'll hire someone to take a picture of this. No, people just do it themselves, even when they should be paying a professional. That's the kind of funny thing, because sometimes you want your item to be uh, listed in the best possible manner and you don't want a oh I took this photo and I you know you can't see what's important about it but that's what people do